In a crowd of protesters at Lake Eola today, we found Republicans who say they've never voted for a Democrat, but they plan to vote against Republican Governor Rick Scott in his run for U.S. Senate. And it's all about medical marijuana. Channel 9's Lauren Seabrook explains why two successful lawsuits against the State Department of Health have some on the right voting for the left. And you made your voices loud and clear. After 71% of Florida voted yes to medical marijuana, some Republicans protesting at Lake Eola say they're going to vote against Governor Rick Scott in his Senate race because they feel he's ignoring what Floridians want. There is a base of Republicans that's fairly large that is very pro-cannabis and they're not happy with um, him not getting rid of the appeals on both the Morgan case and the Redner case. Nate Jurwitz told us when two cannabis patients sued the State Department of Health and won, many expected Governor Scott to step in after the agency appealed. One patient sued because she could only be treated with smokable flower cannabis for her type of cancer, but only the oil form is legal here. The other sued because he wanted to grow cannabis in his own backyard so he could juice it to treat his type of cancer. The question is, is will Rick Scott just doesn't want to do it because it's too risky of a political move or is his special interest that does all of his campaign financing not allowing him to? I don't know. Another protester on the right, Jeremy Gomez, supports medical marijuana because he says it changed his autistic daughter's life. Giving her CBD the first time, it took about 10 to 15 minutes for her to start talking in full sentences. She wasn't doing it before. Both men, registered Republican President Trump supporting Christians, plan to ditch their party and Governor Scott in the upcoming U.S. Senate race. If things stay the way that they have, he doesn't have my vote. In Orlando, Lauren Seabrook, Channel 9, Eyewitness News. We asked Scott's office if the governor had a response to the protesters we interviewed today. The deputy communications director told us, quote, medical marijuana is available to patients across Florida. There is even a home delivery option. The legislature outlined how to implement the law and more than 130,000 patients have access to the treatment. It is disingenuous for this political protest to say otherwise.